and uh, welcome. Have you ever thought why we are focusing more and more in the pollution of aquatic ecosystem? Because there is a huge population of human beings that feed upon the organism which live in ocean, especially of the coastal areas, the coastal sea, I mean Japan, etc. There are some very particular examples that we have dealt in. But to start with, there are two important processes, two important phenomena that you must know. And uh, these are very interconnected. Why? Because they, based on them, certain protocols have been made. These are bioaccumulation and biomagnification. I have seen students getting confused between these two. So, what actually happens in, and the purpose of using this particular diagram is that throughout the, this lecture series, I have tried to use the infographics from a very, very authentic source. As you can see, this particular information has been taken from National Geographic. So, what happens here in bioaccumulation is that, see, when we consume something, we have proper system in our body, for example, kidneys. So, whatever toxins are there, they get removed. If they are water soluble, they will be removed through kidney. But in bioaccumulation, there are certain chemicals, there are certain uh, material that are not water soluble. And since they are not water soluble, they get accumulated inside an, an organism. Further, they get stored in fat and especially the adipose tissue. There is something in our body, in fats, which is known as adipose tissue. So, they keep on, in, the concentration of that particular toxin keep on increasing in that particular organism. Eventually, when another organism feed upon that organism, this stored toxin in the adipose tissue goes to that organism. This is bioaccumulation where the rate of discharge from the body is lower than the rate of intake. So, if that organism is consuming something which has toxin, the release of toxin outside the body is slower. It is not as fast as the intake. That is bioaccumulation. The word itself says some one is accumulating something. But the biomagnification is something where the number of organisms are involved. And we all know when the number of organisms of different species are involved, it is called food chain. So, what happens here, as you can see, these are phytoplanktons. What is phytoplanktons? Phytoplanktons are tiny green uh, plants that moves from here to there. Actually, the literal meaning of phytoplanktons is leaving plants that moves here and there. On the same sidelines, the zooplanktons are tiny organism that moves from here to there. So, some if there is a toxin, for example, poly chlorinated biphenyl that is PCB, if it gets to this phytoplankton, it will be eaten by zooplankton. This zooplankton will be eaten by fishes. As you can see, we are jumping from here. This is level 1, this is level 2. So, essentially, this is a kind of food chain. So, biomagnification means something is getting magnified. It is increasing in number. Why? Because we know that in the food chain, as we move, the diet increases. So, this moves and eventually reaches to the top level predator in a food chain. And the biomagnification in the food chain affects it. So, as you can see, the red dots is a symbol of this polychlorinated biphenyl. This keeps on increasing and since the top level predator needs to have a larger diet, maybe more than thousands of this fish, it affects the top level predator. This is biomagnification. So, we have used different infographics, different concepts in explaining different terms of environment and ecology. So, I will see you in the lecture. Thank you.